on this planet children this is the session 2 about the sun moon and stars in the previous session we studied about the sun and the solar system all right children so now we will start with moon so what is moon children the moon is our closest neighbor in the sky but it is also 384403 kilometers away from the earth so children you can see that how far the moon is right but then also in the solar system the moon is our closest neighbor right it is 384403 kilometers away from the earth all right children so this is our moon children just as the earth moves around the sun the moon also moves around the earth right we studied in the previous session that earth moves around the sun in a fixed path called orbit the same way moon also moves but it moves around the earth so you can see here in the picture this is the moon the moon moves around the earth right it takes around 29 days to complete one circle around the earth that is almost one month right because there are 30 or 31 days in one month right so we can say that moon takes around 29 days to complete one circle around the earth okay children the moon is also called the earth satellite so what is actually a satellite children a satellite is an object that moves around a planet like our earth other planets also have satellite yes children so we can say that the satellite is an object that moves around the planet okay so here it will be a full stop okay children so always remember that moon is a satellite and it moves around a planet that is our earth so like our earth other planets also have satellites so earth is only one satellite that is moon other planets have very less or more satellites right children pictures of the moon show that it has mountains right so this is a picture of the moon the exact picture of the moon right 
This has been shown in shown as the moon. Right? This is a very close observation. Children, there are also huge holes on the moon. You can see in the picture, there is a huge hole on the moon. So what is actually this? These holes are called craters. Right? Scientists are still trying to find out if moon has water or something else. Right? So on a very close observation, we can see that moon has huge holes and these holes are called craters. Children, there is no air on the moon. Scientists are still, still trying to find out if moon has water. Right? But there is no air on the moon. Children, the moon does not have light on it, of its own. Then what is this moonlight? Moonlight is actually the light of the sun reflected by the moon to the earth. Okay children, so moonlight is actually the light of the sun. Right? And it is reflected by the moon to the earth. That is why we say that we get heat and light from the sun. Okay children? So always remember that the moon does not have light of its own. It is actually the light of the sun. Okay? So you can see in this these pictures Right? This is the sun and the sun is reflecting the light on the moon and this reflected sunlight is going on the earth. Right? This way the earth gets light from the sun. Children, you might have noticed that the shape of the moon seems to change every night. Right? You can see here, these are the different shapes of the moon and it changes every night. If you haven't observed yet, go and observe. Right? Try to observe it every night. Every night the shape of the moon changes. Children, sometimes it appears circular in shape. So these are the different shapes of the moon that appears to change every time. So you can see, you can observe that sometimes the moon appears circular in shape. Sometimes it appears like a half circle, sometimes a crescent shape and sometimes the moon disappears completely, right? So why does this happen? Let's see. Children, the different shapes of the moon are called phases of the moon. So let's study about phases of the moon. Children, you can see the pictures. This is showing the phases of the moon. Right? On the day one, 
It is new moon day. After that, the shape changes and when you observe after one week that is on day 7 you can see that it has changed from new moon to half moon so the shape changes after that again shape changes after one week again after one week you observe what do you observe that it is a full moon day right we can see the full moon a big ball big white ball right after some days again the shape changes right again after one week if you observe you can see on day 21 we can see a half moon after that again the shape changes and finally on 28th day we can see the new moon right so on the total how many days does it take 28 days right so these are the phases of the moon the different shapes of the moon these different shapes are called the phases of the moon right okay now we will study about stars I hope you are all clear with moon now let's study about stars children you must have seen so many stars twinkling in the sky right little little stars have you ever wondered what stars are yes like our sun stars are also huge balls of fire they appear as tiny dots of light right so we can say that stars are huge balls of fire the sun is also a star right but unlike sun stars appear as tiny dots of light because they are very far away from us but the sun is the star that is closest to the earth right but we can say that sun is also a star but it is not a tiny star right okay let's see let's study about something interesting what has been shown in the picture yes he is using an instrument a man in this picture is using an instrument this man is also using an instrument right so what is this instrument called as? Yes, it is called the telescope. What is it for? Yes, it is to look at the moon and the stars in the night sky. We can see moon and the stars in the night sky with the help of an instrument called the telescope all right children so this is very interesting instrument you can see moon and stars and even the planets okay children so what is actually a telescope a telescope helps us to see far off 
objects such as the stars, the moon, and the planets clearly. Right? We saw some pictures about the planets. Right? They were very, very fine pictures. So, how can we see those pictures? With the help of a telescope. Right? Children, some stars form a group that seem to form a pattern or shape in the sky. Right? Have you ever seen? Okay. So they form a pattern or the shape in the sky and such patterns or groups of stars are called constellations. Okay children, they all are constellations. So children, there are some examples like the Great Bear and Orion, also called as the Hunter. These are two constellations you could easily identify in the night sky. Because they are very closest to our earth. Right? So these are the two constellations you could easily identify. Alright children? So I hope children that you learned about moon and the stars in this session. So this lesson is completed now. We will meet in the next session with the new lesson. Till then, keep enjoying and keep learning.